it. I'll buy it. <laughs> Donald Trump's landslide win in the 2024 election has sparked an absolute mental meltdown across social media. TikTok, YouTube, X, every platform has been flooded with reactions that are, well, more than just a little dramatic. We've got everything, celebrities, woke, leftists, and professors in total freakout mode. Let's break it down. These videos capture a wild mix of fear, frustration, and even calls to panic, making it clear just how polarizing this win is. First, it is woke Hollywood stars. I worry about my children's future, especially my daughter, who now has less rights than I have. And I remember my father telling me many, many years ago that I was the first person in, in his family to enjoy full civil rights. And now I have less civil rights than I had when he told me that. She mentioned that her daughter has fewer rights than she does. But what rights? If Sonny Hostin's daughter is a minor, her child by law has fewer rights than she has. Late night host Jimmy Kimmel almost burst into tears and called it a terrible night. Let's be honest, it was a terrible night last night. It was a terrible night for women, for children, for the hundreds of thousands of, of hardworking immigrants who make this country go. Um, <laughs> for healthcare, for our climate, for science, for journalism, for justice, for free speech. It was a terrible night for poor people, for the middle class, for seniors who rely on Social Security, for our allies in Ukraine, for NATO, for the truth, and democracy and decency. And it was a terrible night for everyone who voted against him. And guess what? It was a bad night for everyone who voted for him, too. You just don't realize it yet. This is my favorite as these woke liberal women scream like maniacs. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Why, why, why? Why, why, why? Do you really hate me that bad? It's all right. I feel that way, too. It's all right. <laughs> We feel that way together, okay? Let it out. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> wow. I hope her neighbors will listen to Chopin music in the background instead of her loud screams. I see President Trump seems to enjoy the music with his signature dance in her video. Oh, he cheated! He cheated! He cheated! This woke woman cries because she thinks she will wake up being a slave because of Trump's victory. Yo, I'm scared to go to sleep. I might wake up a and sleep. <laughs> These women even go on further protests by cutting their hair. Just woke up this morning feeling spicy. You guys feel spicy? Because I do. By giving up on America? You know what? It's been a day. It's been a year. It's been nine years, eight years, whatever it may be. Around this time, eight years ago, it's one of the worst times of my life. That's when my life fell apart. I will not be giving my money to the beauty industry anymore. I will not be giving my money to anyone that helps support misogyny and the patriarchy and keeping women down and making women think that we need to look a certain way or be a certain way or fuck you. Stop dating men. Stop having sex with men. Stop talking to men. Divorce your husbands. Leave your fucking boyfriends. Leave them. And I promise you, Come over to this side. I will bake cookies. I will shave your head if you want me to. Just entering my middle-aged mom era. I have to get the Cliffers out. If you voted for Trump, I think you're a f loser. I think you're stupid. I think you're a moron. I think you're evil. I think that you deserve to die by my hands. Uh, more specifically, by the rake that's in my hand that I'm using as a bludgeon on your f skull. You f loser. I'm better than you. You're a horrible person. You don't deserve air. And kill yourself before I get to you. Do it. Kill yourself right now. Reply. Reply with a video of you killing yourself. I cannot live in a country that voted for Trump. I cannot spend another four years under that man. And so we have made the decision that we are leaving. We're getting quotes on selling the house. We are in the process of selling everything. Um, I'm hoping to be out of here by mid-January. I'm f***ing feral today. <laughs> if you see me keep walking do not make eye contact do not square up at me don't act like you know me like maybe they voted for kamala but like i want to eat them right now 
Like, I want to take a bite out of those glutes in a bad way. B. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Really? Yes. Yeah. Do it. I'll bite. Okay, so since Trump won the election, we're cooked, yup. Um, I'm gonna be leaving the US and I'm gonna be moving to Hawaii. So we'll see how it goes and I'll update you guys. If you and your male partner voted differently this election, if he voted for that man, you need to leave him. You need to leave him, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you need to leave him. I, I know you love him. I know you love him. I know you think he's going to change. I know you think he just doesn't understand your problems. I know that you think he's more concerned about the economy. But especially if you're married to him, you are in danger right now. You are in a lot of danger. Speaking of marriage, I wouldn't get married right now. Why did I say you shouldn't get married? Because it's possible that in the future, you're not going to be allowed to divorce him. I can't really speak on the experience of people of color, of people who are LGBTQ. You guys all need to be making your own plans as well. Everyone needs to be making a plan depending on which category you're in because they're putting us in categories now. You need to be thinking about, he wants to do this to my group of people, whoever you are. You need to be thinking about what's he gonna do? What's this administration gonna do to target me? And how am I going to protect myself from whatever that is? Y'all do not wanna get here. <laughs> Y'all had your glory f days in the back. Y'all hate to see a black, a Latino, anybody that's an LGBTQ plus, a woman being happy doing shit on her own. Cause to wake up and seeing it being that close, and I'm seeing comments where people are like, I'm in another country, I don't know how this is happening. Wake up! <laughs> but every black person that I've ever seen that said I'm for Trump in this current state, every Latino, every non-white male, let's keep it what it is. I pray to God. I pray to God these repercussions hit y'all not only first, but harder. Not coming back, I'm never coming back here until he leaves the house. He, he's ruining my life, her life, and the lives of every single immigrant in this country. The best reaction, however, came from this jokester. It's truly outstanding work. I'm literally shaking right now. I'm a trans woman with a baby on the way. What am I gonna do, keep it? Ivan Elite Universities canceled classes to let their students recover from their mental health breakdown from Trump's winning. Several Harvard University professors canceled classes that day, made attendance optional, or extended assignment deadlines. A Michigan State University professor canceled her class to grieve about the election. After Trump's win, some woke liberal women are pushing for a U.S. version of South Korea's 4B movement, urging women to cut ties with men. They claim women's rights are at risk and that Trump supporters fail to grasp the danger. The original South Korean 4B movement calls for women to reject dating, marriage, intimacy, and having children with men, aiming to combat gender-based violence. This response in the U.S. mirrors those sentiments, showing a dramatic reaction to the election results. This woman vows to stay single for the next four years to protest Trump. There's no way I am letting any man near me for the next few years. I have been happily single for the past four years. I can wait another four years. I am so happy for women who have loving, supportive, safe men in their life right now, but it is way too scary to try and trust anyone right now because anything can happen. And if you know me, you know one of my biggest fears is being pregnant. God forbid that ever happens over the next few years, I'm f So, no dating apps. If you are a man, don't even look at me until, do uh, you know what, ever again. Baby, if you wanted to touch my body, you should have voted for it. And the response to this movement is also hilarious. Here is my favorite response. To all the feminists pledging to withhold sex in protest of Trump's election, if you actually possessed that level of discipline, abortion wouldn't have been your number one issue to begin with. This University of Oregon administrator even told Trump supporters to kill themselves. I'm done crying. My sadness is over. My anger has set in. Um, 
I am a very petty person, and I am very proud of that. Love it about myself, actually. And so I say this in the most disrespectful way possible. I don't care if you are my family. I don't care if you are my friend. I don't care if we've been friends our entire lives. You can literally go f yourself if you voted for Donald Trump. If you are so sad about your groceries being expensive, get a better paying job. Do better in life. Get a f***ing education. Do something. Because you are f stupid. And I hope you go jump off of a f bridge. As a result, he faced the consequences and was placed on leave. Some people even go too far, as they want the president-elect to be eliminated. Quick question. So does anybody know how to find or hire a hitman or woman? Um, because we don't want to be sexist. So, but I think we could pull this off collectively. If you want to chip in, DM. Trump survived two assassination attempts. Now this wokey incited people to have more on his life. Some celebrities said they would step back from politics after Trump's historic win. George Clooney is one of them. Clooney is a strong supporter of Vice President Harris and the one who called President Biden to step down from the re-election campaign to pave the way for Harris to step in. He felt disheartened when being blamed for the vice president's loss. This election has brought out some next-level reactions, no doubt. But it's fascinating and funny how democracy really brings out the drama. Whether you're laughing, crying, or yelling into your social media accounts, one thing's for sure. Trump's 2024 stunning win has left a powerful impact. Please like, share, and subscribe for more of these moments that show reactions from political supporters can sometimes be even crazier than politics itself.